Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now today we're going to go back to Tatooine. We're going to go over the land of the Jawas playset, one of the early 70s Kenner Star Wars action playsets that we all played with back in the day. The Jawa Sandcrawler seen in the original Star Wars movie is an iconic vehicle that everyone remembers. Luckily, kids got their very own Sandcrawler in 1979 when the Land of the Jawas action playset was released by Kenner, one of the first early playsets that actually allowed us to go back to Tatooine and feel like we could steal some droids of our own, if you will. On one side of the box, you can see a picture of a bunch of Jawas carrying away R2-D2, and on the panel next to it is a kid playing with the new action playset. And on the other side of the box are a bunch of panels which show off all the great play features of this playset. Stealing R2, the escape pod, the infamous elevator. Awesome, awesome play features that make this playset stand out in the Star Wars collection. And here is my complete Land of the Jawas playset, complete with the box. And I've added in some figures to really give you guys a great feel of what it's all about. The Sandcrawler is actually a cardboard backdrop which is beautifully hand drawn, it has awesome colors, there's a lot of detail in it, it does look like what we saw in the film. It is supported by two cardboard struts that fit into a plastic base, um, but the colors, it just, you know instantly this is the Sandcrawler by looking at it. It's such an awesome design, Kenner did a great job for just a piece of cardboard in my opinion. This playset is pretty sweet because it does allow for a lot of action figures to accompany it, like R5-D4, you can put some Jawas on there, Sand People, R2-D2 of course. I just love looking at this thing once you spread it all out and see everyone on it. The first great play feature I want to talk about is the escape pod itself. Super cool that Kenner included um, a pod for us to play with at playtime. We all remember the infamous escape pod that RTD2 and C3PO slipped into to escape capture from Darth Vader on the Tanti 4. They of course crash landed on Tatooine and that's where the real adventure began. So I think it's really cool that Kenner gave us um, the escape pod. This nifty little plastic escape pod looks pretty realistic to what we saw um, for it being a toy. It does have decals on the sides of it. Um, again it is plastic. It does have a, um, a pop pop-up lid and inside the pod you'll see that it allows for up to two action figures to be placed inside of it and of course you're going to put the droids in there C-3PO and R2-D2 that's to be expected this is their pod in essence inside the pod itself there is another decal and there's two foot pegs so should you want to stand up your action figures inside the escape pod you can totally do that um, so kudos to Kenner for thinking of that another little feature um, I actually never used the foot pegs because I knew my droids weren't going to be staying in the escape pod very long um, at playtime. But it's still a cool feature nonetheless, so it is there if you want it. Um, I do love this escape pod. This is uh, probably one of the coolest things uh, to come out in any of the play sets, in my opinion. Everyone remembers when R2-D2 was captured by the Jawas um, and taken away to their um, giant sand crawler. Such a fun moment um, for R2. Poor little guy had no idea what was going to happen. Um, this playset comes with a second feature. Each of these figures is on an action base, and by sliding this lever over, um, it actually propels the base that R2 is on up into the air a little bit, kind of gives him a pop, um, so you can kind of recreate the moment when R2 first gets zapped. And the Jawas being the crafty little creatures that they are, they had a little chute in their sand crawler that could suck droids up into, and Kenner gave us a working elevator um, so we could do the same thing by pulling the tabs on the back side of the backdrop. You're able to hoist uh, a droid up into the sand crawler, which is pretty sweet. And as I mentioned earlier, this playset allows for a lot of action figures to be placed on it. There are multiple uh, foot pegs. Uh, C-3PO is standing on one. There's um, one on the elevator um, itself right behind R5-D4. Um, there's one over here by Ben Kenobi, there's a couple actually over here by the uh, divot where uh, the pod sits in, R2's on a peg, the Jawas are on pegs, pretty awesome, like I said, this is a display playset for sure um, for all your action figures to be placed on. 
And to match the great detail of the cardboard backdrop, Kenner included tracks um, that they molded onto the base of the playset itself, which is pretty awesome, adding a little bit more realism to the uh, um, playset. I think that just very cool of them. Um, detail goes a long way, especially in these playsets. There's also a cave over here. You could stick R2-D2 in uh, while he's hiding out from the Jawas, which is pretty sweet. Um, I just I just love the base. I mean, the base is simple, but they really really packed in some great uh, great detail. And on the back side of it, um, the backdrop you'll see it's just a cardboard piece. That's all um, pieces I should say that slot together, fold and slot together, easy to assemble. And as you guys can see, the elevator is just some plastic bits. Um, very 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 simple mechanism, but it uh, got the job done in 1979, and it still gets the job done. So that's awesome. This is actually um, my playset uh, the day I got it. it. I also got the Hoth Ice Planet Adventure set. Such a cool day to be able to get both playsets with both boxes. And this is where I have my Land of the Jawas playset in my collection. I'm just kind of doing my own thing here. It's kind of uh, just whatever I'm dreaming up at the moment. Of course, the beauty of these things is you can always swap the figures out and create new adventures at playtime because that's what we did as as kids um, so i still find myself doing that as a collector today changing out my displays from time to time um, just you know whatever mood i'm in whatever i want to see i really like this place set a lot um, for 1979 it's pretty sweet i think kind of did a great job at allowing kids uh, the opportunity to go back to tatooine and uh you know, have our droids crash land and walk out into the desert like they did. Thanks, Kenner. I appreciate you guys tuning in today and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please share it and give that like button a thumbs up because it greatly helps out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not. There is no try.